What's up? Check it out. Look, let me tell you something. Public service announcement. Public service announcement. Look. When God deliver you up out of something that's wackety whack, don't look back. You better not look back. <laughs> Check it out. So I was sitting here thinking about the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. If you don't know Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah, okay, pretty much God and his two angels, they came to visit Abraham. Abraham sat and chilled with fucking, uh, God sat and chilled with Abraham. And the two angels went over to Sodom and Gomorrah. And, well, Sodom. And over there was, was Lot, right? Lot was there with his wife and his two daughters. Um, now this city was a horrible city. It was terrible, horrible. Like they were doing the most, the most, any and everything they were doing, all kinds of sin. They were doing it. It was just ridiculous. So the angels were going to check it out to see if it was as bad as they had heard. And sure enough, when they get there, you know, the people, the men in the square in, in, in the men in the, in the city, um, saw the angels and they they followed them all the way to Lot's house and they were uh, fucking with them, trying to you know what I'm saying like like, like they really they they wanted they, they wanted to rape these motherfuckers like they they wanted some angel booty, ooh child. And if that won't fucking the worst, I don't know what it is. So Lot tried to you know back the mother back up off him you know what I'm saying back up these ain't the ones you want to mess with right so. The angels ended up, they 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 held they stealth down, you know what I'm saying? They they blinded the, the, the men that were standing out outside being a nuisance. And um they were like, look, Lot, you gotta get your shit. You gotta get the fuck up out of here because we about to we about to bomb this motherfucker, right? So hide your wife, hide your kids. Whoever you love, you know what I'm saying, go round them up and y'all get the fuck on because we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna tear this motherfucker up. So Lot goes around and he tries to tell his his son, future son-in-laws, they think he's joking. He tried to tell other people that he loved. They think he's joking. So he just grabbed his wife and he grabbed his two daughters. And he was, all right, I'm out. So they tell him to run to the mountains. They tell him to run to the mountains. He said, that's too far. That's too far. I'm old, man. Like, I can't get to the mountains. But there's a little city right here. So they were like, all right, you go ahead go to that city. But hurry up, because I can't do nothing until you get the fuck on. He was like, all right, cool. So they leave. And as they're leaving, the angels told Lot and his wife and his two daughters, do not look back. Whatever you do, do not look back. They were like, all right, all right, all right. So they get, the, they, they get them running and everything. And sure enough, what the fuck does Lot's wife do? She looked the fuck back. And when she looked the fuck back, she turned into a pillar of motherfucking salt. Now, let that be a lesson for you, like I'm saying. When God delivers you up out of something, out of something that is just the is just horrible, terrible, ain't nothing there but misery, pain, anguish, uh, greed, uh, uh, illusion, confusion. Is is when God delivers you up out of fuckery. Okay? And all he asks you to do is don't look back. You better be obedient. Why does he say don't look back? Because if your ass look back, a couple of things gonna happen. You gonna start feeling sorry for the motherfuckers. One. If you look back, then you must miss it. It's something about it. You're attached to it still. And you're not appreciating the fact that God delivered. God delivered you. Two. Three. You might fucking get in your feelings and realize, ooh, shit, God is a bad motherfucker. And actually be like, ooh, he doing this? Yeah, he doing that. He doing that. That's what they deserve. Like, ooh, God, a meanie. Yo, oh, shit. You ain't know? Balance and justice. Absolutely. So don't look back. Because you, 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 you might feel sorry for your enemies and might want to try to go back and help them out. But see, when you do that, you look back. Like I said, you you, you, you signing up to, to take part in their karma. I don't know what happened with her. I don't know if it was because she hesitated when she looked back or stopped and she got caught up in it or whatever the case may be. But do not look back. It is not worth it. Keep it moving. 
God favored you enough to motherfucking give you an opportunity, a new life, a new chance, keep it moving. Whatever happened in the past is the motherfucking past. Keep it moving. You understand?